Hey loves, Jay here with your March 15th through April 15th tarot predictions for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have anywhere, Cancer anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are also welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're old and new here, welcome back and welcome to the community. Community, be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss your final outcome. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. All right, I'll be channeling spirit messages throughout this reading. So let's tap into your collective spirit messages. I'm going to get all of your cards out here, and then we're going to hop right into this reading. Clarify each of these cards here for you, Cancer. Okay. Okay, Cancer. Here we go. So your overall energy for March 15th through the through April 15th is the Seven of Cups energy here. I can't seem to pick this up with my nail. Give me one second. All right. So we have the Seven of Cups that's coming up for you here, Cancer. Definitely your energy. I feel a change that's coming up for you. Um, I feel an energy of you taking care of yourself is what I'm is what I'm hearing. Okay, because I know in past readings we've talked about you guys have been investing a lot of energy and time into other things. You've been stressed out, and I do feel a, a change that is coming up for some of you as well. Some of you may be daydreaming a lot or having you know vivid dreams or whatnot. I do feel like there is something that is trying to come to come from to fruition. Some of you may be um, not seeing some things very clearly. Some of you, some of you are, but I'm, I'm feeling like a maybe a delusional energy coming up for you, or some of you are hoping. I'm feeling a hope coming from this seven of cups here. Like you're hoping for a change. You're hoping for something different. You're hoping for happiness, enjoying your life because some of you have been in this darkness i'm even here in sickness for some of you some of you've been sick debilitated in some sort of way let's pull let's pull some um clarifiers around this too this could be coming energy that could be coming up for you um the sickness the darkness or some of you have uh, this is lingering energy that you've been in for a while cancer let's see what's coming up for you why is the seven of cups here We have the Nine of Pentacles that's coming up. So some of you are thinking of being single is what I'm hearing. And independence coming up for you. Or you're thinking about going solo so you could be starting a new business, um, leaving a job behind and doing starting your own thing up. But I'm, I'm feeling a, a, a solo energy that's coming up for you. So this may be that some of you are having visions about clearing your space from people and emotions so that you can move on on a new journey so that you can feel a sense of happiness and abundance because some of you have been feeling stuck, Cancer. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. Now we have another number seven here. You guys have definitely been, you've been contemplating something and it may be contemplation when it comes to a relationship or a job that you're in. But I definitely feel like you want something, I'm, I'm here in Rosie, like, or are you seeing things with rose-colored glasses or something like that? Something isn't clear to you, Cancer. And that could be coming up for you as well. I'm definitely feeling like some of you are leaving behind someone or something because you are definitely wanting a change. That energy of change keeps coming up. Five of Cups. Some of you have been sitting in something, really thinking about, thinking really hard. What should I do? In despair, in this energy of regret, like, well, do, will I regret this? Or... Um, how how do I move on and and heal from this? Some of you are staying for you're staying in something for some reason, but you're not 100% happy in this cancer. Not sure how this is going to show up for you, but make it fit how it fits your story. This could be a job or a person, a relationship that we're talking about here. You may not even be happy with your finances currently, but there's something that you are focused too much on where you're not seeing 
something else. You're not seeing a bigger picture of something or you're not taking care of yourself. Some of you are not taking care of yourself health wise. You're not taking care of your mental stability. You're kind of all over the place. And this is why that seven of cups is coming up because it's like an energy of being um, delusional where you're sort of all over the place. And I once watched this TikTok a few weeks ago, and it was talking about delusional. People who are delusional are, are people who are successful. So pe so because people when people say you're delusional, you have all of these ideas and things that are going on in your mind. But when you complete those, when you actually fulfill those delusions, right, with quotes, you fulfill those delusions, you become successful. So... There's a lot of things that is going on in your head and something's trying to penetrate your mind, but, or someone's trying to penetrate your mind in some sort of way, maybe throw you off, throw you off kilter, throw you off your, your, your skill, your scale, your rocker, something, some, there's, there feels like an interference of some sort, but I feel like it's because you are, your emotions are getting in the way of something. And you're not fully seeing the bigger picture and being able to walk away from something. So overall, it feels like you're stuck in something with someone or in a thought or in an emotion that it's hard for you to move past. It's hard for you to see the bigger picture. It's hard for you to believe that you can care for yourself and be happy on the other side of this. You're staying for something, Cancer. Only you know what that is. But some of you may decide during this time frame. To let this go okay so that's the overall energy for you and let me just pull one divine timing on um, when this can transpire this overall energy of you letting go of something a relationship or a job things will unfold as they are meant to things will unfold as they are meant to okay so um, the bottom of the deck, uh, December is here too. So there may be a, a, this may be a really big transition for some of you during this time frame up into the end of the year of you really making a transition out of something and creating something better for your life. It seems like a long time, but for some of you, you may just, you may be beginning this, thinking about this during this time. Uh, during this time frame and then slowly making the steps to get there and then there's a there's a transition by the end of the year Okay, so this can happen at any time. Keep in mind that time is fluid All right, so an obstacle that may come up for you. We have the Prince of Disc the day trader So I'm I'm getting some I'm getting a very sneaky energy from this um, card here I'm getting like some you're watching someone or someone watching you or um, trying to get some sort of information on you or seeing what you're doing. So I don't know if like your person is going through your phone, your computer, going through your pockets, which I don't think people really, you know, <laughs> write numbers down and put them in their pockets anymore. But I definitely feel a sneaky energy. I'm going to pull some cards around this Prince of Disc. Um, this could be someone that you're dealing with, Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or this could be um, someone that could be coming into your life, digging into, um, digging into your business in some sort of way. We have the fool. Okay. So don't get fooled by somebody. Don't get fooled by somebody. Okay. So I I'm feeling, I'm, I'm looking at this Prince of Disc energy here and I just feel a tricky energy. So don't be naive in this situation here, whatever this is. I feel like somebody's trying to trick you into something here, Cancer. Let's pull some more cards. Nine of Swords. Some of you may even have an inkling of who this is or what this is. And I feel like you have dreams about it. You have dreams about someone trying to be sneaky or this is your sneaky energy. Some of you are sneaking around with doing something that you shouldn't be doing when you should just be walking away from, if this is a relationship, be walking away from a relationship instead of, Instead of sneaking around, because some of you haven't found the courage to walk away from it from whatever for whatever reason, but you're stuck in something, and that is also by choice. Okay, that is by choice, Cancer. So you have a choice to you have a big choice to make, and you choose to stay. If you choose to stay, okay, there's again that sneaky energy here where somebody is eventually going to get caught up in something. Um, and that's why this obstacle is coming up for some of you might be having clear visions nightmares about something that's playing out and you're a water sign so you're very intuitive 
So you have you may have a gut feeling about something here. The wheel. The wheel of fortune. So whatever this is feels like it's karmic. It's something that is definitely about to change and you can't stop whatever is about to change. And I think that's where some of you are fearing the change. Um, because this could be you walking away or someone walking away from you. This definitely feels like a relationship, but this could definitely play out in a career from a career perspective as well. But I'm going to focus on relationship here because that's what it feels like. That sneaky energy. If something is about to change, it's going to change in someone's favor. I'm not sure if it's going to be in your favor here, Cancer. Um, but yeah, it can be in your favor, but it may not feel like it's in your favor if it's being done to you. But just know that the universe is doing it for you. So there is something that something karmic that is playing out between you and someone. Just don't be fooled by their actions. OK, or you don't. <laughs> Please don't be in a position where you're trying to fool someone. You're trying to be tricky and sneaky about something that you're doing when you can just be honest and upfront with whatever this is that you have. Um, that you have going on with this person, okay, whatever that is. So that's an obstacle that may be coming up for some of you guys. Um, information may be um, shared. Information may be sought after. So make sure you keep, <laughs> if you don't want to get caught up here, Cancer, if it's you doing the thing, things, make sure you're changing your passwords and making sure your phone is on lock, okay? But the most important thing, um, that's all in entertainment for entertainment purposes, but the most important thing is to be honest with yourself and be honest with the person, okay? Where you're headed during this time is the Knight of Wands. So we had the Prince and then we have the Knight. So I, it definitely makes me feel like there's these are people around you. So some of you could be spending more time with friends outside of the home. Oops, let's go this back here. So the Knight of Wands energy. So... It makes me feel like you may be going out partying, meeting people, enjoying yourself and, you know, indulging in your desires and your pleasures. Just make sure that you're not offending or hurting anyone in, in the midst of that. This could also be your person, your cancer that is going out doing things without you um, and maybe has got you feeling this, that five of cups energy where you're feeling regret and remorse and despair because there is no bond or connection between the two of you anymore. So you're kind of like going your separate ways. What I feel like this is definitely karmic. So whatever this is, if it comes to an end for you, um, cancer, this is a karmic, this was a karmic relationship that you had with someone. Karmic relationships are not even karmic soulmate relationships, they're not meant to last forever. They're here to teach you a lesson. And the question is, are you getting the lesson? And are you strong enough to get through the lesson and speak your truth so that you can learn that lesson and move past that so you're not constantly repeating this karmic cycle? We have the judgment. So some of you are going to need to talk about something with someone. Something is definitely coming up. And this could be someone from the past that could be coming back into your life here. And I don't know if this is going to be good, bad for you. I don't know if this person, you know, because this Knight of Wands, whoever this is, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very fiery, very intense, very passionate, likes to have a good time and can definitely show you a good time. So I definitely feel like there's going to be a lot of communication that you need to give to your person to, uh, or you need to, there's some, you need to secure it, something. You need to secure or to reassure something or move away from something if you don't want to be in some, whatever you're tied down to right now. Three of Swords. Look at that. Yes. Yeah. So this Knight of Wands, this Knight of Wands here, this could be a whole three-party situation. This is why I feel that sneaky energy coming up, Cancer. Someone is stepping out and doing something that they're, they're not supposed to be doing, and somebody's being dishonest. Prince of Swords energy here. So this is happening rather, it's going to happen rather quickly. If it's not happening now, it's going to happen at the drop of a dime. Whoever this person is, that Knight of Wands that comes back into your life, things are sparked so fast and you don't even realize the situation you got yourself in. Okay, so be very, be very conscious about the steps that you're taking with whoever this person that is returning because they may get you caught up in something if you are with if you are currently in a relationship this could be um something very tricky and unsettling if you are single and you're in this situation there is definitely some heartbreak involved or there is um there is 
there's something to where uh, this person could have returned and they could have broken your heart in the past and maybe you're talking about a lot of things but it then all of these feelings begin to resurface again and you don't feel good you feel sad you feel grief you feel all of these things that are coming up so it can play out in both ways whether you're single or in a relationship there's some things that don't feel right right now here cancer that is where you're headed okay so let's see what's coming towards you is the lovers gemini so this could be someone from the past a soulmate coming back into your life or this could be you rekindling whatever you have with your person if you're currently dating someone here let's pull some cards here but i do feel like there's a decision to be made you're going to have to make a, a choice for some of you, you're going to have to make a choice about some someone or something so it's like you're going to have to choose one person or the other or you just choose yourself the four of swords the seven of cups came out reversed and let me pull one more card and the three of pentacles is here so <clears throat> So I feel like um, there's a lot of communication that is coming towards you here with the Four of Swords. And some of you are going to need to take a little time out. You're going to need to take a time out from social media, from your person, from all of these other people, because it feels like distractions that may be interfering with you and your person. And if you're single, this is distractions that's interacting with you fully tuning into yourself to figure out what it is that you want and what makes you happy. I feel like there's just too many distractions going on outside of you that confuses you in some sort of way. That's what that feels like. Seven of Cups makes the Seven of Cups reverse makes me feel like you kind of this is your energy again. You just kind of let things go or let you I don't know if you're letting yourself go, letting your aspirations and desires and letting all of that go for someone because you're all about love. That's what I feel. And it feels like you want to you want to play. Okay? So that's that's one scenario. The other the other insight that I'm getting here with this is um you letting go of a person or you letting go of all of the things that you've been through and you've you're coming together again. So I feel like you guys some of you have, if you're in that situation, you've really been thinking about how do I want to move forward? Do I want to make this work? There's a lot of love between me and my person. How do I make this work? So I feel like you're wanting to do the work. And this could be your person coming towards you wanting to do the work. And then you're all, you're in a whole other world. So it can, you know, the roles can be reversed. You could be in the situation where you're going towards the pers your person to want to work through things and your person could be wilding out. Okay, so there could be different things, but there's a lot of things I feel like with the three of pentacles here. This makes me feel like this reminds me of a, like Akashic Records. So definitely feels like there has been some karmic situation between you and multiple people here, it seems. Whoever the person that's coming, the person is, is coming from, from the past, the person that you're currently with. There's a lot of things that you have to work out. And if you are, you do find yourself in a three-party situation, this could be because you have done this in the past life and you hadn't learned the lesson. So this is an opportunity to learn the lesson. So this this means, you know, take off your playboy, playgirl hat and really figure out what it is that you want instead of tugging at people's heartstrings. Okay. Even for you having people tug at your heartstrings and it doesn't feel right. Okay. So that's what's coming towards you here, Cancer. And we have what's happening in the very near future is the princess of disc virgo taurus capricorn energy so there feels like a shift there feels like a shift a shift in something i'm gonna clarify this so the ten of pentacles came out reverse um, I almost feel with this Ten of Pentacles reverse that it's like an energy of breaking up a happy home. That's what that feels like. There feels like a lack of something, like a lack of stability, a lack of resources, of failure, 
financial loss, the dark side, like sort of losing everything. Ooh, mm. let me pull some more cards around that. The two of cups. So some of you are going to be in a position where you're willing to lose what you have to be with someone else or lose what you have to take care of yourself. The two of cups energy is here. That is a new, that is love and relationship, two of swords. So there's a lot of confusion that is coming up for you in your near future about taking care of yourself and you learning the lessons as I'm looking at the princess of disc, learning these lessons. Very, the, the lessons are, the lessons are very, very important for you. So there's a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes. Um, and a lot of things that you're trying to manifest finances, love, um, recognition of self, all of your desires, you have a craving for something new. And I feel like some of you are willing to, to risk it all. And some of you don't even have an option. It's just going to go away. You're going to lose it. Okay. So there's some things there's, there's just a loss. Like I said, there's a shift earlier. There's a shift that's coming up. And I don't know if that shift is in your favor or not. So it definitely feels like it can be a challenge for some of you if it does not end up in your favor. But then some of you are making the decision to walk away from it. Okay. Walk away from your family in order to pursue something else here. Now, this three of swords is coming up again. And this is in your advice portion. So I'm going to clarify this. So we have the prince we have the prince of wands we have the world that's coming up and we have the queen of swords so it feels that this prince of wands which is very similar to that knight of wands i feel like this person sort of comes in very intense, very passionate and wants to offer you the world, but then takes it away. And then it's something changes your life. Something changes your life here, Cancer. And I feel like you're going to have to set some clear boundaries with whoever this person is that's entering into your life. Um, for some of you, this could even be, a, when I said, I said loss already. So some of you could be losing a partner. You could be losing someone that is close to you, which shifts your perspective on life or just shifts your life in general, your physical life. Like you lose everything because maybe your person was the provider and now you've lost them in some sort of way. And that loss could be to them walking away from you, you walking away from them or death. This can show up in, in, in many ways for you, but it definitely feels like a loss or a failure of something. And it, there's, there's definitely some heart heartache. So I hear you spite it in my heart. So something, some, something feels really heavy here, cancer that's coming up for you. And I'm trying to get some advice, you know, just to go with the flow, go with the change. I mean, th this feels like it's the inevitable because it, the world card is here. This definitely says that, you know, things are about to change, that things are going to be exposed and there's nothing that you can really do about it. There's really no advice except for just going with the flow of things. Um, but I do feel an uh, energy of perseverance through whatever this is, you sort of rising from, you know, rising from the ashes. But I do, I do feel a loss that is coming up. A loss of something. I... Mm. I'm going to move on from that. Your final outcome for the month here, Cancer, is the moon, which is your energy as well. I mean, Pisces here, but it's Pisces, Cancer energy. You're both water signs. <sighs> it feels like a fear or darkness, fearing the unknown, fearing of wanting to move on from something because you're not sure what's on the other side. It's just, I just feel like a, a fear, a fear, a fear coming up. I don't even fear fearless. I don't feel fearless. I feel fear. That's coming up for you. Let's see what is. Let's clarify this. Why is the moon here?
we have the strength card you're going to have to find strength to get through whatever this is and um, lean on your support system as well so on the other side of that feeling weary and dark there is happiness there is optimism on the other side so i do feel whatever that you're going to you're going through or will be going through cancer you're going to make it out on the other end and you're going to feel happy and prosper prosperous and joyous and feel like you found a piece of yourself with whatever this loss is so the loss may not necessarily be death for some of you in certain scenarios it may be but the loss is you're letting go or someone's letting go of you but it does work out in your favor that's what it feels like here so you're going to find you're going to have to find strength to stand on your own two feet because there's some there's some highs and some lows but you are going to have to bear you're going to have to bear it you're going to have to release the fear and some of you are going to need to bear yourselves be vulnerable in that moment and, and let go of what you've been holding on to because there has been, like I said earlier, you're afraid of something and you've been in fear about something and you're going to have to face this fear, whatever this is. But knowing that the three of cups here is that you have a support system to help you through whatever this is. So leaning on them is going to be very important. There could even be celebrations and coming up for you, friendships that you're building to help you through this loss. Whatever this is, it's something that you have grown and cultivated over time. And I think this is going to be a time for you to call on that, call on that circle of people to help you through whatever this is so that you can make it to the other side. Okay. So whether you're going through a legal battle or you've, you know, lost your person um, through inf to infidelity or whatever the case may be, I do feel like you're going to be able to see yourself from a different perspective. I feel like it almost feels like you get in tune with your adult sides, you know, or your inner child. There's another aspect of yourself that you had that had been blurred that you begin to see. So you have a very fiery energy or the fire has been lit underneath your butt where you have to make the decision to take care of you and to move past something. So there is um, joy, optimism, as I said. On the other side of whatever this is you're going to feel enlightened the truth is going to come to light which is going to also enlighten you there's going to be a sense of warmth and pos positivity or you're going to find that you're going to your vitality is up your health is is doing better you feel happier you want to celebrate you're going to get the clarity that you that you're needing you're going to be rising above all of the BS that you've been going through. And Spirit is asking you to remain in gratitude for all of things, all of the things that you have experienced. Okay, so that is your reading, Cancer. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Share, like, comment below if any of this resonates with you. And I'll see you guys soon. Enjoy the rest of your month. Many blessings and love and light. Peace.